Hi everyone, it's me again. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna watch Spy and Family. I know I'm a little late, uh, so I apologize for that. Uh, I meant to watch it on Saturday, but unfortunately I got, um, I started doing editing other videos and then I just lost track of time and I have a million uh, to do, <laughs> things to do on my to-do list. Well, not millions, like one of my priorities is clean my fish tank, which is pretty pretty messy and that's gonna take me a while uh, but luckily I have the day off tomorrow so um, if I have uh, enough time after I finish editing this video because I really really want to upload it today I'll probably uh, um, watch the fish tank today but very likely it's gonna be tomorrow but yeah my fish tank is very very messy and I hate seeing my fishes in that dirty water <laughs> Uh, but uh, I'm really, really excited to watch this episode. Um, I know they're they're gonna go on break. Uh, well, th this is the first part of the, of the first season, and very likely they're gonna go on a hiatus or like a break until we get the second part. So I'm really, really excited to watch this episode. Um, I don't know what to say. I really, really enjoy Spy and Family. My brother and I, um, well, I introduced him to Spy and Family and he fell in love with it. He's like, wow, this is actually pretty good. He he enjoys it. Uh, he already watched the, um, the episode that came out on Saturday. He's like telling me, you really need to watch it. It's actually pretty cool. So I'm really, really excited to watch it. So uh, enough of me talking. Let's begin right away. Mission 11, Stella. Okay, that's a really cool shot right there. What is with that face, Anya? Oh, no. Damn. Those grades are horrible. <laughs> Anya has her priorities. This is awful. Oh, <laughs> Anya. Proverbs. Oh, he's trying to get the bomb and stuff into her homework. <laughs> Come on, Anya. Anya, you can't keep relying on your telepathy. Okay, that's not a bad plan, honestly. <laughs> okay, that face. Yep. <laughs> You sound like Lloyd. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna make it very, very suspicious if you give her A pluses. You gotta make it natural. Oh. Just don't make it too obvious, Anya. Get some wrong. If you're gonna do that cheat, don't make it too obvious. Yeah, also you can't really force her to study too hard. If she doesn't like it, it's just gonna make it even more difficult. Okay, that's a good one. Give her a little bit of rewards. What is that? That's a cow. <laughs> oh God, Anya. <laughs> Ooh, hold up. I want to see that little, not that face, although it's hilarious. I want to see the little background stuff. Okay, that's the best I could do. 
Okay, that's a really, really cute background. I need to get a screenshot of that because that looks awesome. Oh no, Anya, she's even terrible at this. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. Come on, Twilight. Lloyd, it's not a marathon. She's still in first grade. Mm, I wonder what, besides her telepathy, another talent that she could have in Excel. That's true. <laughs> Even she's struggling with the jump rope. What? She needs to get those eight stars within four months? Oh man, are you? Yeah, please don't tire. <laughs> How could you literally end up like that by playing jump rope? An outing? I mean, outing. <laughs> oh, okay, that's not a bad plan. But does Anya even have the maturity to do this? Wow. But wouldn't that be risky if you if you plan all of this just for Anya to rescue and get Stella's? You can't make it too noticeable too. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, Anya. Okay, doing the library is not hard. Anya. <laughs> oh, God, Anya. You're too young for that, Anya. No, no. Was that the last straw? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Anya. Oh no. This is bad. I know that when kids drown, they hardly make any noise. <gasps> oh wow, Anya's reading his mind, isn't it? Uh, excuse me for a moment, my phone. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I'm waiting for an important text message and it was just a notification, so I apologize for that. Let's continue. <laughs> okay, this is our imagination. I was wondering when, what, when Lloyd's going to get smart. You need to come up with an excuse to go there. <laughs> okay, not a bad plan, but... Oh, damn. Oh my God, Anya, find that kid. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, come on, come on, come on, Anya. Come on, come on. <gasps> Will Anya be able to save him? Oh man, that kid is too big. I don't think she'll be able to pull him off. Oh no, she's drowning. Oh, thank God. Lloyd. <sighs> oh, thank God. I don't blame that kid for being scared. I mean, he nearly died. Kids don't make, literally don't make any sound when they drown. And that's really, really scary. Yeah, never take your eyes off your children if they're like in the pool, even the ocean. <laughs> Is she gonna earn a star because of this? Yep. She did. <gasps> Yay! Good job, Anya. You deserve it. Her face. <laughs> Ultra amazingly elegant. <laughs> yeah, it is super elegant. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, you're too hard. Too hard, you're. Oh, God, poor Anya. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, thank God, Lloyd. Oh, okay, I need to read that. He's saying. It the feeling feels so similar to when he when he foiled that terrorist attack. That feeling of proud. That's so so cool. And he's feeling it for Anya. It's like literally how parents feel about their children when they do something good. They feel proud of them. It's so cool that Lloyd is like, oh, it's so similar when I foiled that terrorist attack. That's really, really cool. Of course they did. Oh, that's an adorable smile. Uh, after your last meal, yeah, I will go with Lloyd. <laughs> Sorry, your. Oh, handler. Wow. <laughs> It's not a bad plan, but you, yeah, it will become very suspicious. Ooh. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's true. Ooh. Is she wearing the star? Yeah, she is. <laughs> Seriously, the faces Anya is making for this episode are beyond hilarious. <laughs> Anya, don't let that star get over your head. Is she imitating the voices? Okay, this is awesome. <laughs> uh, of course. <laughs> Her face. 
<laughs> Starlet Anya. Come on, Anya. Of course, there's always going to be those who get jealous. God, I literally hate nearly all these kids. What a bunch of spoiled brats. Oh, Anya, don't listen to them. Yeah, they're all jealous. Meh. Stop being such a... What is the word when you suck up to someone? Ooh. Wow, Damien's is standing up for Anya. Yeah, why don't you take the transfer exam? Yeah, wow. <laughs> Little shrimp. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I was shocked that he defended her. Good job, Damien. Yeah, she should get a reward. Are you kidding me, kid? <laughs> oh my god. Uh. <laughs> oh wow, that food looks really good. The omelette rice. Uh, that's a little too much, Anya. Come on, add something better than peanuts. Wait, are we going to see the dog coming soon? Yeah, the dog from volume four. Yeah, oh my god, I'm so excited. Ooh, does he? <laughs> oh, he does. <laughs> oh, come on, Damien. <laughs> okay, I love this scenarios of Anya imitating their voices. <laughs> okay, this is cool. Anya, you gotta remember, having a dog is a big responsibility. Yeah, it requires a lot of work. And it's a huge, huge responsibility. That's true. Oh my god, Lloyd! Oh my god, you're, you literally bringing my fear of dogs to life. <laughs> A tiny one, okay, yeah, I don't, I don't blame her. <laughs> Good lord, you're. Wow. So where do they meet this dog from volume four? This doesn't even look like a pound. It almost looks like a puppy mill. Wait, wait, uh, did they say bomb dogs if I'm not mistaken? Are you serious? They're gonna use these dogs as, dog as bombs? Getting tink Tinker? Oh god, have it, they been experimenting with these dogs? Uh, 
Ugh, that food doesn't even look edible for a dog. Hey, is that a dog? Yeah, that is... Wait. Hold up. I gotta back that up. Yeah, that's Lawyer and Anya. Does this dog have, like, premonitions? Could this dog see the future? Yeah, it's the same dog from my volume. Does this dog have some type of powers? <laughs> wow, they look very weak. <laughs> oh, no, don't end it. Huh. Ooh, preview, preview. <gasps> oh, wow. They're going to animate this. Okay, wow, that episode, <laughs> I really, really love this episode, and it's really, really cool how, <clears throat> how they did the voiceovers for uh, Anya's imagination. I'm uh, pretty sure, uh, yeah, it's technically the voice actor that voices Anya. For her to do that, to imitate, like, the other characters in Anya's voice, that requires some skill. I'm surprised that she was able to pull it off. It's not an easy task. In a way, it almost reminds me, but that one is like, this is like legendary level. Uh, you you know Mel Bank that voices uh, the Looney Tunes? He was literally able to do an imitation of another of another character that he voices. Uh, I think the... Um, um, thing that uh cartoon is called uh, uh i don't remember the name but uh he does uh, like an imitation of bucks bunny while in daffy and vice versa that's literally legendary level or or better yet got to your level but the voice actor for anya to literally like imitate the voices in anya's voice you know in a playful way how a kid would like in honestly uh, think it requires a tremendous amount of skill I mean I'm already uh, impressed now that she's able to to do the voice for Anya so well I mean doing voices for little kids like four five six year olds is not an easy task and I've seen plenty of um, voice actors where it becomes a little bit cringy uh, I've just seen a couple of voice actors that have been able to pull it off, and I don't blame them. It's not an easy task. Uh, another thing that I enjoy about the episode, literally Anya's fear of studying. <laughs> well, not just fear, but hatred of studying. I mean, I don't blame her. I hate studying, and it's sometimes it requires a lot of determination and motivation to even start studying. But I wonder, how could you motivate a child to study, especially a child like Anya, who's clearly not a six-year-old? And it's honestly at a disadvantage with especially those tests that they're giving her. I'm like, good Lord, all the math that she's seeing, honestly, it's what I saw within seventh and eighth grade. And that was because I was pretty good at math. Uh, what was another thing that I liked about the episode? Oh, yeah, the fact that Anya was able to save that kid because she read his mind. And I love the little imagination that she's like, oh, what if I tell my dad? And Lois like, this, this, and this. <laughs> I really, really enjoy that scene. I love the fact that uh, despite Anya being terrible in art, music, uh, sports, she tries, and that's really, really admirable. <laughs> I mean, I've never been really good at sports. I mean, my parents kind of forced me to take a sport during uh, high school, saying, oh, you need to take a sport. It's It'll be good for your education, and it will look good on college. I'm like, uh, uh, unfortunately, um, I did it too late to sign up for a sport. I probably would have picked uh, football, soccer. I hate calling it soccer. Uh, but unfortunately, they were already filled. So I'm like, uh, great. The only uh, sport available was uh, cross-country, meaning 
a lot of running. I hate running, even though I'm pretty good at it, but I hate it. Uh, the summer tryouts were literally hell. It was hot. It was literally 90 to 100 degrees. There was literally, um, I think one week that we didn't even go to summer tryouts because it was literally 100 the entire week. I think over 100. And yeah, there was like, there's no way you guys could exercise in this heat. And I'm like, dude, I, I would have passed out. <laughs> Oh man, it brings back memories. I mean, even though I hate, I hated the running and everything, but it was a pretty, pretty fun experience with, uh, with friends, classmates. So not everything was bad. Uh, I love the fact that, uh, Becky is like telling her, uh, uh, you should get a prize. Ask for a prize for literally getting the star. And now we're seeing where the dog comes from. I've been wondering about the dog. I'm like, where are we going to see this dog? And it looks like it's going to come soon. But it looks like we won't see the dog till the second part of the first season. I'm like, ah, oh, that's such a shame. Now I'm, I'm excited more than ever because it looks like that dog has powers. And based on the information that they gave, uh, they're going to be using these dogs as bombs. So I'm like... Very likely these guys are planning some type of terrorist attack because it kind of reminds me of like car bombs, you know, uh, when it happened in Europe, which I heard uh, sadly a little bit more frequent than other places. Yeah, it's literally reminding me of that. So I, will, I wonder what's going to happen and how this is all going to lead up to uh, this dog, um, I guess, becoming part of the family, the Forger family. So I'm really, really excited to see the next arc that's coming up with this dog. Uh, also, uh, the idea for the dog. Lois like, oh, we need to get a strong, big, muscly dog to protect the house. And we see this muscly dog. I'm like, oh, God, no. <laughs> I don't blame Anya's face. And then yours, I guess her experience with dogs based on her job being vicious it literally brought back uh, memories of my fear of dogs <laughs> uh, don't don't get me wrong I do love dogs but I'm really really afraid of big dogs um, this is mostly because uh, when I was a kid this dog um, I'm pretty sure he didn't have malicious intent uh, he was just being playful but that dog literally had um, its mouth on my leg. And and I've been scared of big dogs, especially like um, Do Doberman and Rottweilers. I've just been so afraid of them. I'm like, I'm literally really terrified of those dogs. And also pretty big dogs. So pretty much I'm, <laughs> I do have a, like a little phobia of dogs. I mean, it used to be pretty bad, but now it's a little more milder. I'm, I'm pretty much able to control my fear. Like, um, even if I see a dog walking towards me, I make sure to like literally like breathe, calm down. Because if I'm, if I even start showing Beer, that dog is gonna smell it and that's just gonna make the dog nervous uh, this is basically what I know a little bit about dogs and th that's one of the reasons why I'm more of a cat person because of what happened with my experience with that dog and also um I used to live in Mexico as a kid and there would be a lot of stray so that literally made my fear even worse for dogs but luckily, it's not that bad. I'm I'm able to interact with most dogs. I mean, when I go visit my best friend, she has dogs. And she knew about my fear of dogs. And she reassured me and, calm, and literally calmed me down. It's like, don't worry. These dogs are really, really friendly. They're not going to hurt you. And if, if you're too scared, I could just put them uh, outside. So she even was uh, considerate for my fear of dogs. <laughs> But I really love the, the fact that the the dogs that Jor um, has met because of her job. 
and honestly it literally reminds me a little bit of my fear of dogs <laughs> but i'm really really excited for the next part um oh yeah also i almost forgot the fact that um the star the starlight is getting in is getting on anya's head like going above her head I mean, it's expected. She feels like pretty good about herself. Like, oh, I did something good. I want to show it off. But then she gets a little discouraged when <laughs> Damien, of course, doesn't care. And then the other kids get jealous of her. And I love the fact that uh, Becky was supportive. It's like, don't listen to them. They're just being jealous. And even Damien standing up for Anya, especially when that girl was making those comments and trying to suck up to, to Damien. Goodness, literally mo most of these kids try to suck up to Damien. Hmm, it makes me realize that probably one of the reasons why Damien has fallen for Anya really, really hard is because Anya is in a, a suck up. So I'm thinking that's one of the reasons why he's so, so in love with Anya because not only she does not suck up to him, she stood up. To him when she when he was being such a bully and a jerk so i'm really really excited to see the next part for the first season oh also the preview um goodness having rambled for over 20 minutes <laughs> but <laughs> sorry the preview is literally showing that extra um, mission i read from uh i think it's from volume two i believe um where they go to this aquarium and i mentioned uh, where Anya gets this stuffed animal and mentioned about Loy being overworked. I can't believe they're animating that. I thought they weren't going to do it. So I'm really, really excited to to see that episode now more than ever. Because, <laughs> goodness, that face they animated of Loy being tired, it's literally his face in the manga. And that side story is amazing. It's hilarious. So I'm really, really excited to see the animation and everything now more than ever. You guys are not going to regret it. It's a really, really cool side story. <laughs> and I'm really, really excited to, <clears throat> to get started on, I think it's on volume three that I have to start. Uh, yeah, I have to start on volume three. And I'm really, really excited to to see how well they animated the episodes from this volume i did my research and yeah i could read volume three now so that's good i mean it's been very very hard not to literally grab the volumes and open it up and start reading them i mean the story is good i just want to continue reading but of course i made a promise not to start reading it um until the first season ends uh if the hiatus um it's going to be uh, a little while. I'll probably start reading the manga. I'll have to see how long this the hiatus. Because definitely they are going to take a break. So I'll probably start reading it. But I'll see. I'll see how long the hiatus is. So I'm like, ah, come on, don't be so impatient. You could wait a little bit. So, uh, Or honestly, it's, it was a great episode. It, I'm, I still have many, many questions to uh, what exactly is going to happen for the next arc. Um, I already put my theories. I'm thinking they're gonna, for them to say that they're going to use these dogs as dog bombs is literally telling me that there's going to be some type of terrorist attack and definitely Lloyd is going to be involved to try to stop it. So I'm really, really excited to see uh, the next arc, but it sucks. It's going to be the second part and it's Definitely, it's going to be a break, but I'm really, really excited for that final episode for the first part because that side story was hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing. It was just so, so funny. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you for the next video.